Hello everybody, welcome back to another musical e-gaming video. Today, I am here at the Polito Station, Station 1, for a fire vehicle showcase. Now, today we are actually going to start off with our rapid response units. We'll start with the old ones first. We have our... Good old Explorer. This Explorer has uh, two liveries, one red and one white. Let me go ahead and pull those up. Get the red and the white. We don't really use the Explorer much anymore, and I am thinking about replacing it with the uh, all red version of the police explorer going in. Just so we can have a, at least more uniform. You could take off the ram bar if you really want to. What we got? Not many extras. You can take off the spotlights. Or you can have the spotlights down. I'll take them off. We don't need spotlights on a fire vehicle. Moving on, we have the classic Crown Vic. Which will also be replaced with the all red version of the PD Crown Vic. I do like this model though. Except for the license plates. There are all kinds of messed up. Flash pattern's nice on this thing. I got a code 3 RLS siren that is not server side, so that doesn't really matter. Put this back. Next vehicle, we have the Dodge Charger. Fire. Uh, response. These are all the rapid response vehicles. I'm not really a fan of the light setup on here. It's just that the lights on this flash a little bit too slow. They could always be sped up. Uh, I'm thinking about replacing this with the uh, new uh, police charger as well. A lot of replacements going to be done. What do we got? Extra three. We got spotlight. Spotlight down. Antennas. One extra antenna there. And then you have the wraparound bar. Eh, take it off. Next. We have the slick top version of XBR's Fire Tahoe. This is a ghost delivery. I'm going to be using this not as the chief vehicle but as the rapid response Tahoe and oh man this is so good XBR's vehicles are always good extra one got less white lighting in the front light extra two less white lighting in the ram bar extra three no white lighting in the ram bar. Extra four. Nothing in the front. Just all business in the back. And on the sides. Extra five. You got your outer modules only. Which looks amazing. And extra six. You got sun mode or just everything just turned to white. Unfortunately, this one does not have a traffic advisor, but the other versions of the Tahoe do have traffic advisors. That's it for our rapid response units. On to our uh, chief and EMS command vehicles. We got the EMS 
and Chief Tahoe's both are almost exactly the same, just different liveries. Emergency medical services on the uh, EMS command. And then on the Chief Tahoe, we got nothing really special. San Andreas Fire and Rescue going down the side. And then the custom window that I designed here. Just says Fire Chief SAFD with our uh, old logo on there. I need to get a new one made though. The inside of this Tahoe looks amazing. Wheel actually does turn. The wheel turns with your hands, which is nice. Let's go ahead and pull this out and flip on the lights. Exactly like the last Tahoe, just with a light bar on the top. Let's go through the options we got here. Extra one. Less white lighting in the front light bar. Extra two. Less white lighting in the ram bar. Extra three. No white lighting in the front ram bar, which looks amazing. Four. What does extra four do anyway? I don't really see much. Extra five. I got nothing in the front. Extra six. You got your outer modules. Extra seven. You got your traffic advisor. More traffic advisor left. Extra eight. You got everything in the front. Just complete sun mode here. And extra nine, if I toggle off all the front lights, you'll be able to see it. You got your green light flashing on the top. I don't know we have don't know why we have a green light, but we have one. That's exactly the same for the medical Tahoe. the exact same model and it's the exact same model as the new uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol Sheriff and PD Tahoe's now if we wait mark our way around the building we have the newest addition to the actual apparatus fleet we got our F-350 brush truck Sitting with the parking lamps on. I need to work out what's going on with the sirens, though. I'm using the fire truck audio hash for all the fire vehicles, and still I get the police siren. I'll have to have my moderator take a look at that, but. Well, not my moderator, but the head dev. Extras 1 through 7 must be on if you are using the vehicle on a roadway. Because extras 1 through 7 open up all the different compartments. You got your back compartment. And you just got every single one of these compartments that you can open. Turn on the lights here. We got some rota beams on this thing, which look amazing. Let's 
pull up so we can see the back. We got two blues in the back, or four blues technically. Two at the top, two on the bumper. Look amazing anyway. We toggle extra eight. We got your back floods while the lights are on. Extra nine. You got your left side flood. Extra 10, you got your right side flood. And extra 11, you got your front flood light. They all look amazing. And I'm not using any graphics mods besides the Radiance 5 mod for all this. Do a little look around of the vehicle. It does look really good. Everything except for the Vic, Charger, and Explorer are all XBR models. XBR did an excellent job on his stuff. I will be putting a link to his Discord if you feel like you want to buy any of his models. Next we have our International Durastar Ambulance, which we will be getting a twin sister to this. Uh, we will be getting a uh, freight liner ambulance or a Ford, depending on what the community actually wants. But dang, the lights on this thing look good. There we go. Make it morning so that we can actually see the vehicle properly. Just looks amazing. Modifications. Here we go. Extra one puts your all the doors on. You got extra two, which opens the front and the back compartments and also the side compartment on the cab on both sides extra three front and back in the side compartment with this addition of the uh, passenger rear compartment extra four you got this side compartment with the axes and the hooli bars and then you get your body bags a fire extinguisher in here I don't know why put extra one on there and then I need to open the doors um, door controls Toggle all. Yes, you can open the side door. And actually RP it scenes with that. But extra five gives you the gurney. Extra six puts the med bag out. Extra seven. I need to open the doors again. Let me see. I'll just use the F5 menu to control the doors. Vehicle, doors, trunk. Okay. The trunk opens the side door. Trunk opens the side door. Okay. Extra seven. If you have that off, it toggles the, uh, the, the off, it makes it so the gurney is not in the back of the ambulance. Toggle that on, you have the gurney in the back. 
I gotta keep on opening that. Extra eight. Adds a little bit of blood on the floor. Extra nine. Adds a lot of blood on the gurney. And then extra 10 adds your left side floods 11 adds your rear floods and 12 adds your right side floods moving on to our pierce velocity tower and uh, like I say, every time I get into this thing, this is going to be a bit jank. Camera's being fixed on this, so... As you can see by Air 1's view, the camera is messed up on this thing. So, I'll be hopping in and out of here so you can see it. But... Extra one puts it so that the ladder is down. Two adds the uh, uh, legs when they're folded up. Three is legs down. You got extra four, which extends the ladder to the left up high. Five is to the left angled out just a little bit and uh, not all the way extended. Six is to the right, partially extended. Seven to the right, all the way extended. Eight adds your left side floods. What does nine add? Nine adds your right side floods. 10, 11, and 12 add the compartment doors. So let me go ahead and lower the vehicle. Well, lower the tower and I put the legs back in. And get out so I can actually see this. You got your three rotator lights in the front, lights on the tower. You got lights on the legs. I got my floodlights on. And I can't spell. There we go. Let there not be rain. And let me extend the ladder so I can actually show you what this truck can do. Back in. move the truck just slightly so that the legs are not uh, all the way on the grass over there extend the legs let's go with extension 7 and only in extra 7 you can uh, use the water cannon I don't know why. I don't know why it's just extra seven. I have to talk to the developer about this. Talk to XBR about his model. But you should be able to walk up the ladder. Obviously, this one does not want to work for me. I don't know why it's always this extra. 
think it's just extra seven that you cannot walk on. There I go, walk to the leg. Uh, let me lower it and then go to five. About the station. We do have collisions on the tower. We're working to fix the collisions on the basket, though, because it's not exactly legit. But you can climb into the tower, well, into the basket. I get down there and lower the ladder, extend, the, well, retract the legs. I do have the dash cam script in if I really want to. I could use that to drive. This is not really legit driving this thing, but oh well. Yeah. Go ahead and get out. Put that in park. Lights are off. On to our rescue. Another XBR model, of course. Man, does this thing look nice. It looks huge. Because it is really huge. Pull this out. Another nice model here. Let's go through the extras. Extras one through seven. Of course, toggle all the compartments. Extra seven toggles the um, lamp up here, so take that off, and you can extend the lamp. And you don't have to have the lights on to use the lamp on this. And you can change the direction of the lamp. Can't change it to face backwards, though. And extra 12, you can pull out this drawer on the side here. So let's have a little look-see what's in these compartments. You got an extraction saw. Got some hooli bars. BA kits. You got a real unsafe fire extinguisher sitting on here. And these flags are modeled in the back on all the engines that have them, so they will actually flap in the wind. You got a mage power generator. Real nice model. Let me get in here and actually open up all the vehicle doors. Take a look on the inside. Oh. 
Not really much in here. Wheel doesn't turn with the no the uh, model, unfortunately. Hands turn, but the wheel doesn't. Gauges don't work, unfortunately, in this either. Pull it up. Yeah, this thing, you're eye level with the floorboards. But, let's see what we got in the front compartment. Cables, I think hoses. That, that is our rescue unit. International Work Star. And finally, we end it off with our engine. The Pierce Enforcer. Yeah, I need to fix the siren. Man, does this thing look good. Going through the extras. Extra one is your rear floodlight. Extra two. You got left side. Three, right side. Four, you got your front visor bar. Just all red override. Extra five. You got your light on top. Extra six. You got your doors completely off or when you are driving you need to have extra six on. Seven is your compartments open on the vehicle. First set of compartments. Eight is your second set of compartments. Ten. You got your fire hose with your fire hydrant. Eleven. You got extra hose on the back. And twelve. You got your lighting for the gauges. On, on the side of the truck here. But that, guys, is actually the, the entire fleet of fire vehicles. We are taking out the AMR ambulance, unfortunately. Well, we're not really taking it out, but it's going to be for county ambulance. Just so we know if it's our guys or not. But that, guys, is going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next patrol. Take care.